What's up guys, Mr. Gems back again. This is sort of just a quick entry into the news that was just dropped. Um, first of all, I'd like to thank Cookie and The Dead Zone for giving this information to me while I was cooking my spaghetti. Um, so I really do appreciate that, guys. Thank you very much. Um, developer update, July 2020. So the next PTB information was just released on Dead by Daylight's Twitter. Uh, you can have a look at that yourself. It's easy to do, but I'll also put a link in the description. But before we get into all of this and covering what it is, because it is awesome and I haven't seen the video yet, um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe uh, if you do like what you see and you want to see more. And I also stream from 2 p.m. till 7 p.m. most days, Monday to fr uh, Monday to Friday. Sometimes we do it a little bit less, but we'll, we'll see. It's it's always Monday to Friday, though. That's the point. Um, and also, we're trying to hit a donation goal at the moment of £2,000. So if you do feel um, generous and want to help towards that goal, that'd be awesome. It's just towards a new office and everything like that. Just figured I'd mention it. All the links will be in the description below. But let's get into the developer update, guys. This is for the next PTB. So we got this pretty quick off the heels of the hotfix. And let's go through it together. Uh, we're back with another developer update. A series of blog posts detailing various changes coming to Dead by Daylight in the near future. This time around, we're delving into everything chainsaw related. As well as some quality of life improvements uh, coming to the game. Uh, the Cannibal update in the 4.10 update, we've taken some time to revisit Leatherface as well as some of his perks and add-ons. So base kit change, it looks like he's completely changed, which is kind of cool, like his powers and his and his kit. Um, first, the Cannibal's Chainsaw now activates like the Hillbillies, rather than needing to be fully charged and then released. That's cool. This small change prevents instances when you release the button to sliver to sliver too early and cancel your chainsaw accidentally. I know what they're trying to go on about. Uh, you won't want to hold it for too long though, or else Leatherface will go into a tantrum. That's really cool. I like that. Adds a little bit of character to it, just like it does in the movies. Bubba's chainsaw now has three charges by default. When starting a chainsaw sweep, one of these changes will be consumed. Pressing the power button again will, while the sweep is active will refresh it and consume another charge. That's really cool allowing you to continue using the chainsaw for another two seconds. You'll want to assess the situation carefully, though. Each charge you will use will extend the tantrum and missed attack cooldown, so using more charges can backfire if you're not able to follow through. Charges will refill automatically at a rate at of one every few seconds. That's really cool. They're kind of applying some of the nurse's rework to it, but with this guy, I think it might be a good shout. Additionally, Leatherface's maximum movement speed while using his power has been increased from 5.6 to 5.29. That's a that's a massive buff. This, in conjunction with the other changes mentioned above, will make the cannibal feel much better to play and much more threatening to play against. Fear. We talk about that on streams all the time. Fear into the survivors is what makes the killer strong. I'm not intimidated by cannibals. Stay away from the basement, GG. Here's a preview of the lo of the changes of his action. All right, guys, I'll make sure you guys can see it. Let's watch. I'm going to put this on. Let's go. Haha, <laughs> in the basement. So that's... So he's lost all of his charges there, and now he's going into a big tantrum. Right. So yeah, you can just hold it. And then you can just get one tiny little, yeah, one tiny tantrum. Hmm, interesting. Wow, that goes for a while. You got a lot of distance with that. Right, you get it. So basically, if you commit, you're going to take less of a less 
less of a tantrum basically but if you just mess around with the charging you have a chance of screwing up as well so there's a bit of counterplay there i kind of like that all right let's get into the changes add-on changes we've done a pass on the cannibals add-ons and nearly all of them receiving some sort of change these changes will modernize his add-ons and bring them in line with the standards for killer add-ons which are four common five uncommon five rare four rare what's happening I don't know, dude. Five rare, four... Jesus Christ, talk about timing. <laughs> uh, five rare, four very rare, two ultra rare. Yeah, that's that's the standard now. We've already done a video on the shop lubricant. We don't need to have a look at that again. Um, that was teased by Dead by Daylight last night. And this is a... They're just showing us a couple, okay? So this is the Death Depth Gorge Rake. Gouge Rake. Oh, God, the names are so awkward to say. Uh, tool that increases the angle of the depth gouge. Oh, gauge. Yeah, right. Making the chain eat more wood. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Increases the number of charges. That's really good. Yeah, that would be good for him. Slightly increases charge time. Slightly decreases the chainsaw sweep maximum speed. That's cool. Iridescent flesh. A thin slice of smooth young flesh. The vein shimmers with luminescent glow as if life still flows with within. Jesus Christ, right? Hitting a survivor with a chainsaw replenishes charges. That's going to be... That's a definite iridescent. I like how they're going a good way with this. Uh, we're looking forward to seeing what you guys think uh, can do with these new add-ons. Perk changes. Finally. Wow. Okay. We've reviewed some of Leatherface's perks to make them more appealing. Franklin's Demise. That's kind of cool that we're revisiting per perks as well. Your vicious attacks make the survivors drop their item on impact. The last item will be consumed by the entity after 120, 190 seconds if it is not picked up before the timer runs out. So if they don't go back and collect their item, it's destroyed. That's such a good buff. Reveal the aura of items on the ground within 32, 30, 32, 32, 32 meters in, in a white aura. Uh, the aura of items fade to red until they are consumed by the entity. That's a buff for Franklin's Demise, guys, which is a fun perk. I like it. That's good. Uh, survivors put into the dying state. This is knockout, by the way. Survivors put into the dying state by basic attacks are not revealed to other survivors when they are standing outside of a 32, 24, 60 meter range. Survivors put into the dying state by your basic attacks crawl 50% slower for 15 seconds. That's another buff. Wow. Sorry, I'm surprised. Um, wow. During this time, survivors are affected by the blindness of status effects. So it's just a buff to the perks, guys. That's incredible. This one I'm a little bit worried about. Uh, I saw a brief thing, but I'm a bit, bit scared. The hillbilly update. Hmm. He doesn't need updating. Keeping with the frame of everything chainsaws, the hillbilly is also receiving some changes in this update. For the most part, we are happy with the way the hillbilly performs. Uh-huh. Let's remember this line. His power is very versatile, allowing him to quickly traverse the map, zone out survivors, and instantly down them. From a survivor's perspective... There is also a reasonable amount of counterplay, leading to interesting chases where the player, where the best player, often comes on top, comes out on top. Base kit changes. Given that we're already pretty happy with the way Hillbilly performs, the changes to his base kit are minimal. We are not removing any of the options you have with his chainsaw, traversing, feathering, curving, etc. Instead, we want to focus on the skill-based gameplay and put an emphasis on using your chainsaw effectively, only adding a small drawback. To misusing your chainsaw? What what do we what do we what do we mean? In 4.1.0, the Hillbilly's chainsaw will now feature a new overheat mechanic. Oh no! Revving the chainsaw will now cause it to accumulate heat, which can be seen in both the lower left corner around the power icon and the chainsaw itself. Sprinting with the chainsaw will also cause it to heat up at a much lower rate. This heat will dis uh, dissipate over time whenever the chainsaw is not being used. Oh, great. That's good to know. Yeah, remember this line, guys. The hillbilly performs. We're happy. So, in other words, they're not happy how the hillbilly performs. I go back to that. In the overheat meter fills up completely. It, will, it can no longer be used until it completely cooled down. When this happens, it will be cooled down at a increasing increased rate. If the chainsaw overheats as you are sprinting, your sprint will not be interrupted. Okay. The goals behind this is to change and add a small drawback to misusing the chainsaw. How is it misusing it by revving it? And to add a bit more depth to the chainsaw and re... Uh, I don't know. I think that's a bit shit. I think that's... that's All of this rework now seems like it's covering up the Hillbilly update because he's a top-tier killer. 
Let's watch the video that they show. Okay. It, it heats up quite quickly, but I... Mm. I like the sound effects and shit. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if this needed to change. It kind of looks cool, but I'm not after aesthetic. I'm after, you know, if it's good or not. Cooldown doesn't go down when you get a chainsaw. Interesting. Good night, baby. Love you. Have a good sleepy. See you in the morning. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how this needed. I don't, I don't, I don't know if this needed to change or not, but um, that, that's interesting. Add-on changes. Uh, Dad's boot. Like the cannibal, we're doing a pass over. He's in moderately increases chainsaw sprint steering. Okay, that's pretty good for a common. Uh, pig house gloves. Rancid smelling gloves. Soiled with an unknown substances. Despite everything going wrong with them, they do have a thick fabric. Moderately decreases the heat gained when starting to rev the chainsaw. Yeah, now we're going to have to start using add-ons to, to cover up for this bullshit. I don't know. I don't like this at all. Uh, low pro chains. Light chains that decrease the weight of the chainsaw. Continue a chainsaw sprint after breaking your pallet. Survivors hit with the chainsaw are damaged for a single health state. Yeah, I don't know. Perk changes. We've also, oh wow, okay, so we're visiting Lightborn and Tinkerer as well, that's good. Unlike other beasts of the fog, you are adapted to the light, you are immune to blindness caused by flashlights and firecrackers. Survivors that attempt blinding you have their aura revealed for five, 6, 8, 10 seconds, that's brilliant. That's pretty cool. When a generator is repaired, 70% repair progress, it triggers a loud noise notification and you are granted the undetectable status effect. That might be one of my new favorite perks for 16 seconds. It's better than the new Pyramid Head one. All right, this one's a big one as well. Server improvements. Currently, hits are handed on the killer's end. If they appear to be within range of survivors, they will be able to hit them. In most cases, this works well. The killer is able to reliably hit survivors, and the survivors see roughly the same thing on their end with a small amount of latency. Can you check the garlic bread, please? Yeah. Thank you, babe. Um, sorry, we've we got to move quickly. It's, yeah, we've got a kid. Yeah, um, yeah, so they're fixing latency, by the way. Uh, if the killer has a weak connection to the server, however, it can cause some strange-looking hits that appear to be out of range, most notably at pallets and windows. Yeah, God, you watch my streams, guys. You know what I'm talking about. During the upcoming player test build, we'll be testing server-side hit validation. Anytime the killer hits a survivor, the survivor will check and see if it was possible within a reasonable margin. If the survivors was too far to be hit, then this hit is negated. That's cool. This is what we want. To put it simply, if you have a stable connection, you won't notice any difference as the killer. Your hits will still appear instantaneously and should not be rejected. As a survivor, however, a killer with a weak connection should no longer be able to hit you from further away due to their latency. That's pretty good. Second, we'll be increasing the tick rate of our service from 30 hertz to 60 hertz. Basically, this means that the server sends out information twice as frequently as before. So what you see as a result is more accurate. I don't know why we never did that before anyway, but whatever. We'll be monitoring those changes closely over the course of the PTB proceeding further, before proceeding further. Promo code system. Last but not least, the new promo code system will appear in the in-game in store. Oh, come on, guys. Fucking hell. This system is exactly as it sounds. It just allows you to redeem a promo code in for in-game goodies on any platform. Starting with well, the mid-chapter update, you'll notice a redeem code button in the feature page of the store. Clicking this button will bring up a menu where you can enter a promo code to unlock a reward. These rewards can be anything from clothing to blood points or even Uric cells. Okay, fine. Fair enough. Keep your eyes peeled once this system goes out. You'll have a chance to get some codes soon. Mm, fair enough. Uh, this brings us to the end of the 2020 update. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. We get it. Uh, it's It will be opening on July 7th. So next Tuesday... 
Fuck yeah. I'm keen on that though. So there you go, guys. Those are all the notes, the two videos that came with the developer update. Uh, what do you guys think? I'm pretty worried about Hillbilly now. I didn't realize it comes with a sting. I should know by now that usually updates do come with a sting behind the scenes, but that's what you would come to expect. Bit of a shame, really. However, I don't just miss something straight away. I like to try it first. So come check me out Tuesday at 2 p.m. before the PTV goes live. We're definitely going to be playing it. And thanks again for those who did inform me, Cookie and Dead Zone. I do appreciate it for putting this out and getting it out on time. Um, my dinner is delayed, but that's fine because I've got wine. Anyway, guys, hope you guys have an awesome day. I'll see you still tomorrow for my upload. However, this kind of addresses some of the problems, so that's kind of interesting. Mostly excited about the cannibal change and uh, the server change is always, you know, fixing servers is definitely something important. I will see you guys uh, tomorrow for the upload and I'll see you next week for streaming. All right, guys, have a good weekend.